Hello! Welcome to Valkyria Chronicles. Let's my let's play of the Valkyria Chronicles. And we have just come to the rescue with our tank. Now. And we've reduced the number of command points that are available to the enemy battle. Okay, but we can't move. And we can only fire once. And we are not in a position to use the tank yet to uh, fire again, so. Entering combat! Tanks are horrible. There we go. Now you want to aim these glowing blue things. There we go. Use the arrow. The arrow keys on the PC mode give you fine control, and the A W A S D does does uh, fast. See, this is W A S D. This is uh, arrow keys. I guess the bet that's the best we're going to get. Fire! We kind of care him the shot about it off of it. Tanks have two separate hit point totals, body and tread. The attacks to the tank's body and main cannons will reduce BHP, while blows to the treads reduce THP. If BHP reaches zero, the tank is destroyed. If THP equals zero, AP is drastically cut. It's easier to deal damage to the treads than to the bodies, even with pretty hits. Halting the tank before taking it out at your leisure may be a strategy that's both safe and sensible. The glowing blue radiator plate at the tier tank's rear is its weak point, where even standard bolts can do reasonable damage. Try to get behind enemy tanks for a chance to take them down while being careful not to expose your own rear to hostile fire. And since the objective of this is to destroy that tank, I am going to go ahead and use the tank three times in a row. Feels we have very little AP. And yeah, that looks really annoying. It is really hard to control the tank. It, gets, it takes a lot of different years to It's been a while since I've played it. Did I just expose Alicia? I just exposed Alicia. Sorry, Alicia. Yes. That was a horrible shot. It's going to shoot at me. Minor damage sustained. Well, that's fine. Shoot at me. Ow. That's not fine. Now. You again? Don't kill Alicia. I don't want to have to redo this entire thing. My turn. Okay, tank. And on the mouse to con to uh, stabilize where I stabilize my movement. And target mode. Back up a little, target mode, now. and operation complete. That's going to be a bad, bad grade. Yes, we stopped it. Nice work, East. Woohoo! Now you're my hero, Welkin. The Imperials are running off for now. Looks like we bought some time, at least. Welks! Welks! It's a boy! Martha had a boy! <laughs> she, she gave birth in Dad's tank? Have fun cleaning it up! <sighs> yes, and without complications. They're both perfectly healthy. Perfectly healthy? Had giving birth without complications in a tank in the middle of a battle? That That's beyond perfectly healthy. That's like... 
Superman level. You should just get her and her kid out there and and, and have them win the war for you. Good. That's fantastic. And now let's stay sharp as we head out of town. Oh, B ring. Not bad, actually. I guess it's possible to win that in three turns, because uh, the third turn is when the tank shows up. Okay. New episode has been added. Two hours after the first shots were fired, Brule was under Imperial control. Really? Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Brule would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Galleon hero. Really? Galleon hero. Galleon sounds a little bit like France. The language is very... the language and culture is very German. Um, inspired. A lot of the the military stuff Alicia. is bizarre, beyond I crazy. I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. But they all have their own territories. If anything threatens their home, they'll risk their lives to defend it. Depends on the bird. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive. So are plants. But I've also seen them help each other. Almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. A lot of it is killing something That's so you can eat it. I want to be a teacher. So that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? Welks, look. Martha fell asleep, so that makes me the babysitter. See, Alicia? Oh, he's adorable. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. Come here. Look, that's your hometown. Lovely thing to be born to. Someday. We'll come back home again. Yes. Someday soon. I know it. This, this, the, this, uh, um... Chapter 3. Vassal Urban Warfare. <laughs> this game does tend to, um, idealize nature as being somehow inherently peaceful and cooperative and such like that. I mean, you got a touch of it about, oh, those animals will do anything to defend their territories, or but they can cooperate to survive and such. But it tends to overlook such things as the intense amount of predation that goes on in nature. Now, I don't really mind you looking at something in nature and taking inspiration from it on how to improve life in the event. But nature's note that the animals in the wilderness is no better than humanity. In fact, uh, nature and wilderness is, by and large, a lot more brutal, a lot more savage, a lot less empathic. And humans, as nasty as some of us are, are tend to be care a little bit, quite a bit more than most animals. Here we go. Summons. In March of 1935, the
The Empire began its invasion across Gallia's eastern border. Are we going to... Do I have to push a button? Nope. Maximilian, commander of the Gallian invasion front, built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. That's north of Brule. See, Brule's a little bit south down here underneath Mobile. So we were just sort of little... Brule's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. See, on one hand, this is a really small country that these people are Rad traveling Greece, over in a capital. very a short period of time. And stable since ancient times. Within its walls stood the castle Rand Greece, and within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gallia's princess. But on the other hand, it has a large number of different clients. Supporting Gallia's policy of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. Yes, everybody is, is... Under it, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. Which makes me wonder why there are so many refugees. I guess they're retreating back to a central area to regroup. the east grew worse, both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. Because they might be trained, but they still need the equipment. Well, Alicia found was seemed to already be in the in, in, up and willing to fight for their cause. So these are my new digs. Oh, my uniform. I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. I do like There's uniforms here. Binoculars, a compass, and a map. Everything you need for a nice hike or combat. Welkin? Can I come in? Sure, it's open. Oh, you're already changed too. Let's see. Oh, I just realized the uniform colors are red, right, white, and blue. Not bad, not bad. You look good, actually. So, how about me? I bet they were planning on selling this, this to Convincing? West. Actually, actually, you know what? Considering the number of countries that use red, white, and blue. In, in their flags, they could have. They, they, this, that's really actually a, a really intelligent decision to make the color that way. That way, you can claim it's uh, France. You can claim it's, it, they're supposed to be French. You can claim they're supposed to be British. You can claim they're supposed to be American. Um, Australian. Well, Australian's kind of a stretch because it's always America because we're on continent. But. Yeah, but you can really. That was really good marketing point. Uh, that's that's interesting. So how about me? Do I look all right in this? Convincing? Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, you look fine. You wear it like a pro. I think everybody in this country is almost a pro. Really? You're not just saying that? Of course not. You look tough. I like it. Oh, good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. No way. That plating on the back? It's like a coleopterid exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic! Oh, Welkin. Coleo what? And did you just say beetle? Hey, he's a naturalist. It was a compliment. Uh, Welkin? What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a buff? Huh? Not just any bug. A rhinoceros beetle. King of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? You're 22. You're not 12. Have you never had... Uh-huh. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very welcome sort of compliment. Yay! Welcome to the reality of main characters. I could say Japanese main characters, but the honest truth is, 
male uh main main heroes, especially ma male main heroes, often this blind and naive. Female main characters are just as bad, actually. So yeah, main characters, main heroes, are often that naive. Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. I plan to keep wearing it until I can get back to manning the ovens again. That's great. Once you do, I'll be first in line to get some of that bread. <sighs> There's innuendos in there that I had not caught the first time I played this game. Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. Oh my goodness. Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, we should probably go see the captain now. Oh my goodness. I'm wondering if that, that, that has to be intentional. If it gets translated from Japanese, it might not be intentional. But oh my goodness, that oh, that was thick. Squad 7 is born. You notice it's never Squad 1 or Squad 2 or whatever. It's Come only in. Squad random Excuse number me, in these stories. Galleon Militia Enlistee, Welkin Gunther, reporting for duty. Man, Galleon Militia Enlistee, Alicia Melchiot, also reporting for duty. That's not a I'm scarf, Captain that's Eleanor a headdress. Commander of this regiment. Gunther, you're promoted to lieutenant. You'll be leader of Squad 7 now. Ma'am. Oh, she did the glasses thing. Enlistee Melchiot, you're promoted to sergeant. You'll be under the lieutenant's command. Understood? Ma'am. What do you know? It is you. Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? All of you? I had no idea now, that you'd enlisted. That's yeah. an Italian sound. Now better. that there's a real war going on, I joined up. Pretty much all the officer and training boys are here just like you. You know each other? Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welkin was in science and I was in archaeology. Biology. And just look at us now. No archaeology or science. Biology. Looks like the two of us are studying war, I guess. Looks that way. It's good to see you. And you. That'll be all for now. There's a strategy briefing later today. But you still have time. Time for you to catch up. You'll be spending a lot of time on the post and in Randbreeze. They'll be your new home. So get to know them. That'll be all. Report back in time for the briefing. Until then, you're dismissed. Okay, so, change equipment or view info on members of Squad 7. We are going to look at that. So, here we go. Galleon 1. Oh, right, he's a nature lover, which means being around nature makes his heart sore, bringing about a boost in his ability. Unshaken, even when surrounded by foes, he remains calmly in command, enjoying a boost in his parameters because he is uh, calm at heart and doesn't really have... Oh, these are commands. He doesn't have any commands yet. Okay. Okay, cool. Alicia? is country bread. Standing on bare dirt leads to a boost in concentration, raising accuracy. And she's maternal. When any of her close friends are nearby, the desire to protect them drives all of her abilities up. So, Welkin, Alicia, anybody, like Rosie and Largo probably cover it. Yeah. And let's look at Rosie. She's our shock trooper. She's got an automatic. She is going to be our resident badass. Uh, desert Allergy. Allergy to dust and sand leads to a steady drain of hit points while in a sandy area. Plowing through oncoming fire by sheer force of will, she takes less in damage from interception fire. That's why she's going to be our resident badass for a while. She just can't abandon her fellow shock troopers. If any are nearby, her abilities are enhanced, so when she's around other shock troopers, she's better. She's got... okay. And Largo. Thank you. 
Here we go. Child nature. Paved roads feel strange and cold, leading to discomfort and lower defense. So we don't want to put him on cave, paved roads. His insurmountable spirit is enough to call him back from death, reviving him after his hit points reach zero. I think that's only once. When surrounded by allies, he feels the drive and energy to work that much harder, boosting, enjoying a boost in abilities. Okay. Oh, right. There are the likes. So... Largo likes Rosie, Hannes, and Jan. Bridget likes Largo and Cherry. Alicia likes Welkin, Nos, and Dallas. Oh, Dallas. And Welkin likes Alicia, Juno, and Audrey. People that, when they like people, they, um, they, 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 uh, work together better. They cooperate better. Okay. Yes, we're going to exit the barracks for now. And we're going to look at the command room. It's good to see you doing the rounds. Welcome. This is the command room. Use it to structure your squad. You will have access to both drafted and volunteer recruits. Now that I think of it, Squad 7 is still short on soldiers, isn't it? I'll explain how this works. This is the master list. The recruits have all been assigned classes based on their talents. Okay. I should probably touch on the five classes, just so we're clear. First off, you have the scouts. Just like the name suggests, they'll be your eyes. Their best asset is their mobility. They can go out, collect intel, and make it back safely. That, and a keen eye for enemies, a good scout can spot a man in tall grass from a hundred yards. That comes at the price of firepower. Their job is spotting enemies, not taking them out. They have tons of action points. Next up, the shock trooper. They're the ones to break through enemy lines and clean up. They offer excellent offense and defense. As far as combat goes, they're as good as it gets. Yes, they are. While they lack any specialized techniques, they also don't have any obvious shortcomings. Think of them as the least finicky unit in your squad, Lu Lieutenant. After yeah. them, we have Lancers, then anti-tank units. The They're anti critical when facing armored targets. Yes, they are. Their purpose is pretty self-explanatory. In most cases, they're the only way to stop a tank. Yep. They're also well shielded from explosives, which conveniently includes tank mortars. Sadly, Largo is a Lancer. And weak to gunfire. Their limited ammo could also be called a drawback. Changing gears, we have the engineers. They handle supplies and perform combat support. They can restock other units' ammunitions, treat the wounded, even repair tanks on site. They can place sandbags for cover, disarm mines, repair towers, you name it. Their actual combat skills are very low. Think of them as combat facilitators. You always want to leave, uh, an engineer around if you can. Lastly, we have the snipers. They can shoot down targets from a considerable distance. They start out really bad, but they get progressively more awesome the more you level them up. You won't find better soldiers for marksmanship and range. They can hit targets I can barely see. You wear glasses. Sniping rifles also come with scopes that work to augment a sniper's natural eyesight. Drawbacks include low mobility and defense. If the enemy gets them alone, they're done for. That should cover the basics. Go ahead and put a squad together now. There's room for 20, and you can swap units at any time. Okay. I like Susie. I like Ika. Where's Dallas? I think Dallas is one of the. Uh, yep, there she is. Her abilities. She's a. She's got desert allergy, so she hates sand and dust. She fancies women, and she's a man hater. Yep. Okay. Unfortunately, yeah, they just kind of slipped that in here. In there, she has a basically a crush on Alicia. Um, but. You know, Alicia's the uh, is pretty much the canonical love interest for Welkin, so sadly, 
Alicia is as blind to Dallas as Welkin is to Alicia right now. But I always add, I always add her. My name is Dallas Wyatt. I'm excited to be joining up. They all have their own personalities. It's awesome. Oh, Ramsey. I like Ramsey. Uh, do I like Elise or Yoko? Yoko's the, the mother, isn't she? I forget. Okay, we need... Okay, Eddie. Aisha. Eddie, I think, is going to be the end. I'm Edie Nelson. Perhaps you've heard of me. I'm sure we'll get along swimming. Oh, that's right. She's the she's the celebrity. She's an actress or something. Aika is one of our scouts. She likes Dallas. Hey there. I'm Aika Thompson. I'll try my best. Sound good, Wilkin? She so that gives me all of I all Dallas's likes. Juno works well with Working well with Welkins is not so great because you work well with Edie, so I'm going to get you. Because My Welkins is in the Lee. tank, usually. Good to be on board, Welkin. And so he's not usually in the same place. Okay. I guess, um, um, uh, what's her, well, Alicia, but yeah, Alicia's a scout. Okay, so... I should probably get Fancy's women, Fancy's men. Oh yes. Okay, let's get me another. Oh, Aisha. She's like the twelve-year-old. Oh, Jane. Jane's awesome. The name's Jane Turner. I'll do anything if it means putting holes in imps. I like her backstory. Okay. Um, Aisha's also somebody I take. She's the middle schooler. Hi, I'm Aisha Newman. Nice to meet you, Mr. Walken. Yep. She's the, the kid genius. Let's get a couple more. Let's get Yoko. Hi there. I'm Yoko Martins. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. And yes, I'm giving in to my tendency to get mostly female characters. I am sorry. No, I'm not. I'm Niels. Niels Darden. I'll see you on the field. He's cool. I should actually be looking at their stats. Shut in Metalhead and Fatalist. I am going to get Ramsey. I'm Ramsey Clement. Uh hey. Oh yes, Ramsey! Ramsey is awesome. I like Ramsey. <laughs> she is so bored at every with everything. I'm gonna get another I got three of these. I could look at their potential info. Marina. Oh, I need snipers. I am going to get both of these snipers. Marina Wolfstan, at your command. Hello, Catherine. Hello, I'm Catherine O'Hara. I look forward to joining you all. Yeah. That might be with the the multi natch the multi accent thing they got going on for the Gallian forces. Might be a nod of hey, America. We're making this video game so you would buy it. I really would like to hear it in Japanese. Claudia, Homer, Herbert. You're a neat freak. What does that mean? Uh. Uh. No, you're terrible. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, we only have three, so we're gonna put Susie in. My name is Susie Evans, sir. I realize I'm inexperienced, but I'll do all I can. Scouts are pretty cool. Alex, night vision, scout killer. Kevin, uh, Kobe Care, Wendy. Ooh. I kind of like you. What does Metalhead do anyway? Spell of Iron clears the head, leading to a boost in attack power. Dorothy! I think you're another one I do, but you have frail body. Lancer hater. Nina? Yeah. The name's Nina Strice, and I look forward to a good workout out there. 
Let's get the old guy. Name's Kobe Caird, boyo. Looks to me like we're gonna see a lot of each other. I have three more slots. Uh, let's go ahead and add a Hector. My name's Hector Calvi, sir. I'm at your service from today on. Boy, that voice does not really match your, your face. I think I have two of you, at least one of the Hermes. I'll go ahead and put Ted in. Thank you. Hello. I'm Ted Ustinov, and I've got some great new material for you. Are you a comedian? Juno. And Alex. Alex is a scout killer. Hi, I'm Alex Raymond. I look forward to serving with you, Welkin. And we're done. Well, feel like you've struck a balance? Come back anytime you'd like to adjust your squad. As time passes, we'll have more recruits to choose from, so keep an eye on that list. Oh, and all the recruits go through training together, so they're all ready for combat. They'll be at the same level as the rest of the team you've taken into the field. You can swap out members without the worry of losing the benefit of their experience. Yes, when you level up a people, you level up their class. So everybody in that class levels up. Trust in your own judgment and pick a team you know you can work well with. That should be enough to get you started. You can figure out the rest as you go. And I think... Wow. Squad leader's a lot of responsibility. Well, duh. Come to think of it, Folio's heading up squad one, isn't he? I wonder What's if he's team? off sorting through this stuff now, too. I'd better get a move on. Okay, so I'm going to end that video now. And get F.